welcome to Den of Tools. Hi, the hill guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we're here to talk about portable toolbox solutions. Yeah, a lot of you have been asking, hey, Red, I need some portable storage solutions. I've been looking at uh, like the Packout. I've been looking at the DeWalt system. What's the best system? Are there any other solutions out there? What's the best bang for the buck? So we are going to cover all of them. We have a huge, huge list to get through. But I know some of you may be thinking, hey, you know, what, what's what's the top of the line? What's the best one I can go with? And the best one, I got to say, is, is going to be by far, <laughs> there's just no two ways about it. And that is the Festool system. If you want storage, nobody does it quite like Festool. So anyway, let's jump into it. I'll show you everything they have, and we're going to go on from there. Okay. So here we got the Festool. It's called the Sustainer system. Now, I've seen other companies use this, so I think Sustainer may be a third-party system. I'm not sure. But this is what Festool uses. They've been using it for years. Their basic cart system here, the basic MW1000, runs you $500. That may seem like a lot of money, but you got to see how much Festool tools cost. This is for the pro, the consummate pro, cabinet makers, top of line carpenters, people who are serious about the, the kind of work they do and the money they spend on tools. And about every tool you buy from Festool comes with its own sustainer. So you have this whole modular system. You end up with all these cases. And then when you what you do is you have you know your workshop or your van. You have that kind of stack system like I showed you. And then you grab it, you throw it in, in the cart here, and you haul it into work. Now, one thing I really want to show, show you is this, the MW1000. It's $650. This isn't just a cart. This isn't just a locking, rolling storage solution, but it is a mobile workbench. Once you get where you're going, that backboard comes out, connects to the side. You got all your tools on one side. You have a, uh, a full, you know, uh, wasteboard style uh, work surface. You can set up and work anywhere you, you want. Uh, you've got, you see the power bank down there. You got portable power. You got all sorts of usability with this system. As I said, it's not cheap. It's for the consummate professional. And uh, they have a ton of different solutions. As I said, a lot of these things, you know, they ship with it. Uh, but as, again, you're going to pay for this level of, uh, of, uh, of storage and organization. Now, the king of the hill when it comes to North America is, of course, Milwaukee and their packout system. They've been just blowing everybody away with their, their options for storage and whatnot. They've got a huge system here. So let's take a look at their core system. This is basically what we're going to talk about for a lot of these systems as to like what the core system is. It's going to be a, a box on wheels. You got your, your ba base box, then you have a mid-sized toolbox, and then you're going to have a small compartment system for your small you know ends and bits and stuff like that. So this system here is going to run you 279. Now Milwaukee's got a ton, a metric ton of options that can go with this. That starts at 279. You got small compartments. You can buy the base pack out part by itself. It's got the extending handle. Uh, we've got uh, toolboxes. We've got bags. Uh, they've got essentially their version of an ammo can there for sixty dollars. You got a milk crate for forty dollars. Anyway, any, about anything you want. This this is the wall modular system. So when you get back to the shop. You can pull this apart and you can mount these directly to the wall with, with stuff like this. They've got a radio so you can bring your tunes with you. They have it all. The cooler, of course, you can bring your lunch and snacks and whatnot. It's not inexpensive. That's the one thing about this system. It's not inexpensive, but it is a good quality system. It's well made. It's not exactly waterproof. It does it does have some features. It should keep, you know, casual splashes and stuff out, but they do not recommend leaving it outside exposed to the elements for an extended period of time. So then, what's the other option? Well, DeWalt, they came to play. They brought the DeWalt Tough System. Now, they had a storage system prior to this called the T-Stack System. We'll get to that in a bit, but a lot of people complained it wasn't rugged, rugged enough for professional use, for daily use, for, for beating on, you know, the way guys use stuff, they throw it in the back of the truck, it gets banged around. They wanted something rugged and tough and dewalt answered their needs with this system it's an insanely ruggedized system and i don't think you can go wrong with it. it it's not super cheap but it's not honestly i don't believe it's as expensive as the packout system let's take a look at it your core system here it's gonna run you 150 dollars it gets you the the basis 
cart, kind of like your, you know, think of it like a flight bag kind of thing. Then you get your toolbox and then you get your small accessory box to go with it. It's going to run you $150. Now they have a lot of other stuff that goes with this. Uh, we're going to step through this real quick. They've got your milk crate kind of solution. Also check this out. They have this uh, rolling cart. So if you don't want to go with the base cart and you want more modularity, you can use this. And these little arms that stick out, they slot into the side. If you can see that, they slot into the side of these boxes. And as you see, they also have the home rack or shop rack solution. So when you get back to home base, you set these up in, in your shop or whatnot, and you can just slot the boxes into that. So you have the storage there. You can put it on the cart to take it with you. You can lock it onto one of the rolling boxes. You have a lot of different options with this. And they do have a, a decent selection of toolbox options and accessories, not quite as large as the packout system, not quite as diverse, but still a really, really good system. Now, remember what I said before about T-Stack. This is the older system that they had. This is the base system you're gonna get here. It's gonna be $150. And it comes with this kind of cart here. It all sits down in it. This is a lot more similar to what you, we saw with the Fest tool system. And this little, you see the little yellow handles here? As you put them down, this pops up, this sits down on it, and that locks down onto it. It works. It's not a ruggedized system like you see with the tough system or the packout system. And I think that was essentially the problem. They have some great, great solutions here in the T-Stack system. I highly recommend them. Now, here's the thing. So DeWalt is Stanley Black & Decker. Well, when they came out with Craftsman, they needed a solution for the DIYer. And they went, you know what? T-Stack, the pros weren't liking it because it wasn't tough enough, but it's going to be more than tough enough for your average DIYer. And so you'll find the T-Stack system now called the Versa Stack for Craftsman, completely interchangeable, com completely modular. As you see there, the base system there, $70 to $80 essentially, far cheaper than anything we've looked at so far. It, it looks to be a pretty decent system here. As you see, I got my little Amazon search assistant up here coming here and telling me, that you can get the DeWalt T-Stack Tool Storage Organizer for $32.92. Well, if we see the Craftsman one is $34.98. Well, if I wanted to save a couple bucks, I could get the DeWalt one. And it, as I said, they're interchangeable. So I could have red, red, yellow, red, and I could alternate. It doesn't matter whether it's the DeWalt or whether it's the, the VersaStack. They both work. The only thing you got to suffer through is the clash of colors on that. But anyway, they've got a decent system here. You know, we've got, let me get this thing out of the way. Come on, go on. Bye-bye now. There we go. All right. We've got bags. They've just came out with the cooler. They've got your small parts component. They've got the, the red, uh, you know, uh, milk crate kind of system. They've got a lot of different things. The three-drawer system, this is pretty nice. This actually is a 216-piece standard SAE and metric tool system there, all built into the box, ready to go. Just plug it into your, your cart, and you are you know off to the races. Now, one thing is, Stanley had this first. So there was a, they're out there, there still is the Stanley Fat Max T-Stack combination system. Again, same locking system. Again, just as interchangeable. Here's the problem. They don't really make it and sell it, at least not in the U.S. anymore. You see here it's on Amazon. This little core piece here, 98 bucks. You think that's bad? Shipping, 76 okay? But you can find them used. You can find them at secondhand stores. Uh, maybe you've got one lying around. If you do, what a great way to, you know, expand your system by going into the VersaStack or the DeWalt system. All right. Now, as far as the big players that we see a lot, the other one I have to talk about is Rigid. Now, of these, the big players you see on the weekly sales and stuff like that, we see this system here for sale, $100, $150. It, it's a good, solid, ruggedized system. The only downfall from it is really that there's just not much to it. You, you got three boxes. <laughs> there's your options. Okay, how much does it cost? Well, it's going to cost you about $100. You, you buy the, the core system here, the core box, for $60, bucks, and then you get by... Uh, the the module the center toolbox there I think it's what it's forty dollars so there's your hundred dollars and then you get the small parts organizer for free so you get your three components there for a hundred dollars if that's if you're going to be happy with that and that's going to do everything you need that's it and your DIYer in fact even if you're a pro if that's going to do what you need it's a good system it's not it's not bad it is pretty rugged rugged 
and uh, and it's fairly it's not waterproof, but it's water and dust resistant. You know, speaking of which, I want to jump back to the the Dewalt Tough system. Uh, it's they a lot of people say it's essentially waterproof. It's definitely dust proof. I don't think I would submerse anything, but if you left it outside, I think it would be fine. The T stack system is uh, neither of those. Maybe the small parts bin might maybe. But it's not kind of thing I would leave out in the rain. I'd worry about humidity, rust, and whatnot. So, but let's take a quick word from our sponsor, and that is the Den of Tools. Yep, we're on a subscriber push here. We're at 92.6 thousand, so close to 100 thousand. We really want to make that get over there. I'm going to tell you why in just a second. But what we've noticed is 70 thousand people are not subscribed to the Den of Tools. Every Monday we give you top tools of the week. Uh, we save people hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over the course of a year, finding great tool deals. Uh, every Sunday we do Tool Talk Live with Jeff and the Misses and the Cubs and the Labrador. You can come by and, and say hi. We're there for three hours from 6 p.m. Mountain Time on, uh, on to 9. Come by, say hi, check it out. But anyway, just to, just takes a second to go down there and chomp the old subscribe button. You know you want to do it. It's just, ah, just give it a good old chomp. But the reason we're doing the push Besides breaking 100,000 is it's going to be a birthday present for the big bear. He's been saying that he really wants to see us break 100,000. And he's up with us here in Montana for a little while still before he heads back to Vegas to spend the rest of the summer with his mom. And I really want us to hit 100K before he leaves. So if you can, it doesn't cost you a dime. Go on, chomp the subscribe button down there and uh, become a member of the Den of Tools. All right, enough of that. Moving on. Makita. A lot of people don't realize Makita has a storage solution. Here's the problem. It's much bigger overseas than it is here in North America. They have a they have a selection, let's say it that way. Not a vast selection. They have a selection of storage solutions, not, not wide or broad. But if you were living, say, in Europe, you could find quite a, a bit of stuff. Here's on Amazon Prime in the U.S., the basic uh, was it the Mac pack set size four? <laughs> See, it's not cheap. 65 bucks plus $63 shipping. Why? Because it's just not big in the U S and it's hard to find in Europe. This is amazon.co.uk. So this is in, you know, great Britain, huge selection. Look at this. We get the cart, we get a four pack of cases, just, uh, the, 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 uh, the fishing box style toolbox, all sorts of, of storage solutions and options and, and everything you could possibly want. Unfortunately, in the U.S., as I said, it's hard to find. If somebody knows a good supplier for this in the U.S., I would love to hear about it. I'd love to share it. All by everything I've heard from talking to some of our, our viewers who are overseas, they say it's a fantastic system and that they love it. I just wish we could get our paws on it here. All right. Bosch, yes, Bosch has a system as well. Look at this, the L-Rack system. We got organizational shelf system with drawer handles, top carry handle, individual racks. And they do this really, you know, this prime colors kind of thing for the small organizer set boxes. So you can you can organize stuff not just by size, but by color. So when you glance at it, you know exactly what you're getting. You got the pre-cut foam. We saw that with the Makita. We got all sorts of different boxes. They have some decent solutions. Now, this is on Bosch Tools' own website. Now, if you go shopping for it, you're again, uh, it's going to probably be a little bit more expensive than some of the other solutions, but there are options out there we can get. I have to say, it does kind of remind me as kind of a crossover between the uh, the Makita boxes and the Sustainer boxes there from Festool. But it'd be nice if, like, when you got, like, one of the regular you know, toolboxes, it would connect into that system. That is not the case. Maybe it goes into the drawers. I don't know if that would be interesting. I'll have to check and see. I don't think so, but that would be cool if it did. Anyway, next on the list, a great budget solution is Husky. This is from Home Depot. Husky, by the way, I'm going to have links to everything down below. So if you want to go check it out, you can go check it out. And this is a Husky three-piece mobile system, small ports organizer, rolling toolbox, all of that. And you get all three of your core pieces there for $80. But again, if you want more of that, that's going to be a little bit harder to find. Now, you can buy a few other pieces like the, the center modular pieces. It's just repeating of those three pieces that we saw before. But as you can see, 
you can stack out a system here fairly well. Let's see what else they've got. They can show us here. There's the uh, the cantilevers uh, toolbox, and <laughs> I think that's going to be about it. This is going to be slightly different. This is the Stanley Fat Max. This is not an interlocking system, uh, other than the fact that they're already locked together. It's a cantilever system. It rolls up, you unlock it, and it all slides out like that. It, you can't take it apart per se. It's not made to be taken apart and interchanged. And that'll run you $100, plus you get a free 25-foot Stanley Fat Max tape measure with that. You can see this same solution in several different brands. I'm not going to go through every different brand. There are some cheaper ones out there. There are some on sale. I've seen some at Walmart, different places. But just giving you the idea that that is another type of solution. Even less expensive than that is this basic Stanley tote system. This is $40. Basically, you get a toolbox and a giant bin for your power tools underneath. That's all there is to it. It is wheeled. It does have a handle that comes up. But for $40, if you just need something to tote some tools around, this will do the job. Slightly upgraded from that. This is $35 currently on sale. Go away. Stop that. We've got, uh, this is an interlocking system. I don't know, though, if you can actually buy separate pieces and create a bigger system. But they do have the Stanley Essentials 3-in-1 detachable mobile work, mobile work box there. Again, on sale currently for $35. This is through Home Depot again. Let me see if I can get you a picture there of what it looks like on the inside. Not a lot of modularity. Uh, not the most rugged thing out there. It's just thin plastic with clips. This is definitely a you know very DIY kind of solution. Now, some of the more obscure solutions we're going to talk about here that you may not have heard of. Northern Tool has the Wonder Bin 3 in, three in 1 toolbox system here for $80 for $81. This is very similar to like the Husky system, although I would say it does look a little bit more robust. The the ridging on that gives you that kind of milk crate rigidity to it. Uh, and you've definitely got a better like small parts bin on top. The clasp system looks like it might be a little bit better. I, I don't believe that there's any other kind of parts that you can buy for this. I haven't seen anything for them. Uh, if there is, if you, you know where you, hey, I can buy this other components for it, comment down below. I'd like to hear it. All right. Trinity. Yeah, it's 155 over on Amazon, 167 on Home Depot. This is a kind of a nice looking little home uh, DIY case. I guess you could use it as a pro. Uh, it's $167, so not cheap, but you get that nice stainless steel look. So again, if you were looking for something professional, you didn't need a huge selection of tools uh, or, or storage solutions. This could be a great, a great way to show up at a, at a work site looking very professional, nice stainless steel, especially if you're doing inside kind of work. That would give the homeowners a little bit more of the, the warm fuzzies, as it were. All right. Next option, Stalwart. This looks like something that, that Harbor Freight would sell, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure they sell something very similar to this, but not in the rolling toolbox solution. I have not been able to find something from Harbor Freight that kind of fits this, this, uh, this kind of model. The closest thing I could come up with would be like this Apache rolling case. And, and that's not really this kind of solution. You can't really lock other things to it. So as I said, I, I don't know. I've asked them, hey, when are you guys coming out with something? And all I get are crickets. So anyway, Stalwart also has a more high-end rolling stacking portable metal trolley box kind of system here. It's 207, uh, 87. It's definitely got a lot more modularity to it, a lot more storage solutions. Uh, let's see who else we got. We've got Beta. Now, Beta is an Italian company, and they've come out. They're, they're trying to break into the U.S. This is not cheap. $700, okay? Now, one thing is this is available in all like the Skittles kind of colors. So not only black, they've got orange, they get the lime green, they got blue, they got red. $700 though, probably not what most people are going to go for. Now, my number one solution for the toolbox I want that I just cannot have is Ryobi, believe it or not. Talk about a great DIYer garage home shop solution. Look at this thing. 
you got essentially your basic toolbox there. It's on a rolling platform, so you can either use it as a permanent setup, take it off the rolling platform, or, you know, I'm a huge fan for small shops for modularity, being able to move stuff around, change it as I go, depending on the project I'm working on. You got a top, like, micro hutch kind of setup here. You got some wider drawers. You got some deeper, smaller drawers. You got some larger. You, and, of course, because it's modular, you can build it out however you want. And all you need to do to buy one of these is move to Australia. I, I, I don't know what to say. Ryobi, if you're listening, we'd love to see one of these here. If you agree with me, comment down below. I'll forward it over to the whole thing, the video to Ryobi and say, Ryobi, we want this. Why won't you give it to us? <laughs> take, dang it, take our money. All right, there you go. There are pretty much, that's a fairly comprehensive solution for portable toolbox storage containers and such let me know what your favorite is is there one that you have do you like it do you not like it why don't you comment down below which the one you, that you wish you had if you had money and you could get one of these which one would it be i i mean i like all of them in one way or another but i gotta say as you know these days i work mainly out of my home shop i'm not really going on site that much that ryobi system would be fantastic again not really a practical solution here but anyway, let me know down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Anyway, till next time, that's all the bear has for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Chomp the like button while you're at it. Anyway, till next time, you take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.